Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. What is PDP authentication failure? If you've ever found yourself unable to connect to the internet on your phone, you might have encountered a message that says PDP authentication failure. But what does this mean and why does it happen? Let's start with the basics. PDP stands for Packet Data Protocol, which is a way your phone connects to the internet through your mobile network. When you turn on your phone's cellular data or connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot, your device uses PDP to establish a connection with the network. This, this process includes verifying your device's identity to ensure that the data connection is secure and protected from unauthorized access. So what happens when PDP authentication fails? Essentially, it means your phone can't connect to your carrier's network properly. This failure can prevent you from accessing the internet, using data-dependent apps, or even browsing the web. There are several reasons why this might happen. One common cause is a weak network signal. If the signal is poor, your device might struggle to connect to the base station, leading to authentication failures. Another issue could be with your SIM card, whether it's incorrectly inserted, damaged, or simply not working properly. Outdated or corrupted carrier settings on your device can also cause problems. These settings are crucial for your phone to connect to the network, so if they're incorrect or outdated, it can lead to PDP authentication failures. Incorrect access point name, APN settings, are another potential culprit. The APN is what your phone uses to identify itself to the network, so if these settings are wrong, you won't be able to get online. Sometimes, software bugs can also interfere with the connection process. If your phone's software is not up to date or has some underlying issues, it can prevent the PDP authentication from working correctly. In some cases, the issue might be related to your eSIM, which is an electronic SIM card used by some devices. If there's an error or misconfiguration with the eSIM, it can cause the device to fail to authenticate with the network. To fix PDP authentication failures, you can try a few simple steps. Restarting your device is often a good starting point, as it can reset the network connections and clear temporary issues. Toggling airplane mode on and off can also refresh your device's network connection. For more persistent issues, resetting your network settings can be effective. This involves going into your phone's settings, finding the network reset option, and restarting your device. If these steps don't work, it might be worth checking for software updates or ensuring that your APN settings are correct. In some cases, you may need to contact your carrier's customer service for further assistance. Understanding PDP authentication failure can help you troubleshoot and resolve the issue quickly, getting you back online and connected in no time. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.